Um, also, I, I don't know if I've ever covered a spacewalk where the spacewalkers were two hours ahead of schedule, like as happened with yours Friday. Um, did you feel like you were really hurrying out there? Um, how did you move so fast? And, and Chris, I'm wondering, any idea yet on how you, uh, your wrist mirror came off and do you have a spare for Wednesday? Well, we do have spare wrist mirrors for sure. And I'll, I'll tell you, Marsha, that was uh, a real bummer for me. I had no idea how it happened. The wrist mirrors are, are on your wrist kind of tight. I mean, they're on there pretty snug. So for something, it had to have been a, a small tether or piece of metal or um, there's a, a metal uh, uh, a tether attachment on the, near the airlock handrail. Uh, and maybe that just slid right in the perfect seam and, and slid it off. I don't know. I just happened to glance down and I saw this reflecting thing disappearing into the darkness. Uh, and that was uh, the, last, the last I saw of it. So we do have spares. That's good. And in terms of getting ahead, every spacewalk, you're one stuck bolt away from being two hours behind. And, w and I, I think we, we just sort of got... Uh, lucky that we were on the front side of that one stuck. There was no stuck bolts. All the bolts worked. And I, I think that's a tribute to um, how much thought has gone into these particular uh, bolt, bolts and analysis on how to ma manage them, them well. I'm focusing a lot on the bolts because that's really what the task is with batteries is driving them. And if you, if you have a, a sticky mechanism, we would not have been two hours ahead. Now, granted, um, I think we both have a, a fair amount of experience with, with batteries in the pool, certainly, and, uh, and up here as well. So we're, we're familiar with the, the handling characteristics of holding a big 400-pound thing and how we needed to work together. So, so uh, that part just worked out re really well that we were lucky. One interesting thing Bob and I just realized is we have never been in the NBL together uh, in all of our you know, decade and a half time at, at the Johnson Space Center, which is ironic. Our very first time in EMUs uh, is outside on a real spacewalk. So anyway, everything just lined up perfect.